This Evercade content is sponsored by Evercade Evolution, the Evercade magazine made by Evercade enthusiasts. Check them out on Amazon now. Hi guys, hello and welcome back to another Evercade feature right here on the channel. So we continue our series on the Evercade cartridge reviews and we are up to number 25 and this is the Morph Cat Games Collection. So on the front it says three games included but two special bonuses. So we have five games on this and I have been really looking forward to reviewing this one to be fair. Trusty specs. So we have Micro Majors, Bobble and Space Goals. Um, and then the two bonus games are Super Bat Puncher Demo and New Micro Mage Levels. So yeah, it's, it, it's interesting that you put the three games on the card. And chose to put a couple of demos on. The Micro Majors new level is obviously like a 1.5. Um, and Super Bat Puncher demo is just a sweet little um, game. Which I really, really um, did enjoy. Okay, so there is the back of the card for you folks. Just says, look what the Morph Cat brought in. It's three great new 8-bit indie games to your Evercade. Plus two special bonuses. So, opening the case up. There we go. And we have our little manual. And we have the Morph Cat Games Collection 1 cartridge in a very nice pink there, I might add. Okay, so let's open the booklet and have a look. And it says about Morph Cat. So Morph Cat Games is a two-man independent developer from Berlin, Germany. Julius Mayu Reke handles programming and sound, while Nicholas Batu creates graphics and levels. The pair spend their evenings and weekends working on brand new games for classic 8-bit gaming hardware and claim to be powered almost exclusively by sushi and pizza. Never a bad, bad combination. Both are my favourite foods. Julius initially attracted the attention of the retro and indie gaming communities for his much-loved demo game, Super Bat Puncher, which was first released in 2011. But after meeting Nicholas four years later, the pair truly found their audience in September of 2018 when he published a video revealing... How they squeezed their game Micro Majors onto a cartridge with just 40 kilobytes of ROM. The video was a huge success, having garnered nearly 3 million views to date. If you're yet to see it, give it a watch at, and as the ale there, then enjoy the great games this talented pair have successfully squished into the tiniest of spaces. So, yeah, um, another great indie developer, and uh, let's take a flick through the book. So, there is Micro Majors. Shows us the controls, which is always nice. A little bit about items and loot. The levels. This is like a lovely little game, Micro Majors, to be fair. Um, I think it's actually four player, if memory serves me right as well. So if it's right in with the VS, the versus machine there. Enemies. So this book is a lot more packed, obviously, because we've got the different games. The three different games instead of like the 20. Some of the earlier collections had. Enemies, developer notes. Uh, Micromage, second quest. Bobble, which is a lovely little puzzle game. You will, of course, be seeing all three of the main games on here. Um, and maybe a little touch of the other ones too. Two, I should say. Space Goals. The demo Super Bat Puncher. More about Super Bat Puncher. And have you got them all? Yes, I have. Right up to the very latest Duke Nukem and Dual Cars releases. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there, folks. I'm going to drop down to the screen, show you three of the games in action, then come back and give you my final thoughts. First game of the day, folks, let's take a look at Bobble. Okay, so this, of course, is a nice little puzzle game. So the idea being, we're a little bubble, we press the button to go down, move along, and we've got to collect these little bells here, avoiding the obstacles. Like such. Or not, as the case may be. And just all about your timings here. <laughs> there 
we go. Dive bubble means we can now go deeper. We've got a power up. Absolutely lovely game, this. It's all those as well where you go along, like you learn the levels as you go. But hopefully, you're getting an idea. You know, now to go left at the top. Ring the bell, which I think acts as a checkpoint as well. Yep, it does, thankfully. job you get like a not on a set number of lives in it right let's go and get the last one. Oh man <laughs> okay one more go There we go. And we'll leave it there. Let's go to the next game. Okay? Let's try a little bit of space goals. Okay? And off we go. Go be a hero. Player two can press A to join. And this one, we just basically flap our wings. And we get around the levels. Absolutely gorgeous graphics. Right, find our first baddie. Okay. So... It reminds me straight away of a little bit of joust where you've got to like land on them. There we go. There we go. So this one could become very, very addictive very, very quickly. So go off screen and the enemies come back to life. There we go. Collected something there. So either avoid or kill them, whatever you want to do. And I think we come back up the same way. Whoa, where we go now? Yeah, there we go. Moving up here. So different attack patterns this time, these guys are firing to the side. Okay, so we've got to do something to get by. I think we might have to kill these. Yeah, that opens the door. So you get the idea, folks. And just gets trickier and trickier as we go along. Absolutely amazing game. Collect the little cartridge, of course, there. Cartridge, look like. Looks like it fills our power gauge back up, up in the top left there. Click on here. And there's a checkpoint, save point, or a checkpoint, depending on what you want to do. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Let's go on to the last one of the day. Okay, folks, let's have a look at micro majors. Micro Mages, this one of course being a cover star of the cartridge. Right, so there we are, the tiny tiny little mage and he jumps and we've got to get up to the top of the levels. Finding our little uh, spell if you like as we go. This one is absolutely delightful. Yeah, you've got a little wall jump on there. There we go. 
Absolutely amazing game. Doesn't look much, but like all these games are. They're just so damn addictive. Evercade, of course, being home of like the um, indie games. Okay, there's our checkpoint reached. Imagine this with four player mayhem. Ah, oh, there we go. Little diamonds or jewels, gems, whatever you want to call it in there as well. Pure genius. There's another checkpoint. Let's go for one more and then I'll go back up top. Powerful that wall jump. There we go. There's level one done, folks. Let's go back up top and let you know what I think about this cars. Hi, folks. Welcome back up. So that is one hell of a cartridge. Um, I didn't show the two demos only because one was a 1.5 of Micro Majors. The other was a little platformer demo, and I felt that the three main games on the cartridge sell it itself. Um, just uh, Bobble is fantastic. It's got that, it's like Flea. It's got that typical indie game, one more go feel. And it doesn't matter how frustrated you get. Um, when I first got the car, I played it. And uh, I got quite far in, I think. I think it may have come close to completion. But man, the amount of times I was like, ah, you know, the controller. But you just want to have like another go. Absolutely fantastic game. Uh, Space Goals, again, very, very joust. I think I mentioned that in the gameplay um, segment. Uh, tricky little blighter, gets tricky quickly, um, but always fair. If you make a mistake, I feel it's my fault, not the fault of the game, which you can't unfortunately say uh, on like a lot of these games, or not these games, but you know, games in general. Um, retro games obviously being that little bit harder to newer school gamers and stuff, that is a big complaint. I'm finished up with Micro Majors. I mean, who doesn't love that simple sort of jump, fire? Um, advance up, you know, games like Rainbow Island's done it years ago before Micro Majors and stuff, but the same kind of thing like progress up, be uh, defeat enemies, beat the enemies up and stuff um, the wall jump is a lovely little feature um, I think there's only one thing better than Micro Majors, and that would have to be Micro Majors with four players, I'm presuming that you race each other to the top and try and kind of come up with some sort of shenanigans and stuff, so I mean this cartridge for me is it's up there within the Heroes 1, and that is like big, big praise for me. Uh, everyone who watches these knows, or knows me personally, knows like I'm a massive, massive fan of like indie games and indie Heroes 1. It's probably like my favourite cartridge on the entire system so far. Um, that is before I play the new ones, bear in mind, properly. Talking of new stuff, um, it didn't work on this, the new Atomic Edition. Um, got this and done a video the other day of it. Um, go back and watch. Um, I've done all the updates and everything. It's hooked up in the studio here. I had to unhook it and put my old VS on to capture the gameplay footage. So anyone from Blaze watching, um, I don't know what's going on there, guys. There's nothing wrong with the cartridge because you've seen it work and it works on the EXP, it works on the old VS, it works on the Taito. So, um, yeah, that was a mystery. Uh, but that is more about me and my making videos and content creating the new guys um but just something to be aware of if your first evercade is indeed the new atomic edition and you pick this up um as a caveat to that if i've had dealings with blaze the customer services are good you normally sort of send them a video of proof and whatever and they'll send you like a replacement cartridge but yeah i'm going to spin back and I'm gonna end on a positive note absolutely fantastic cartridge y y you can't go wrong don't be bothered about the four games and the 1.5 of micro majors on the end there just don't it's 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 so worth it you know we got um full void which is like you know a single game we got like plenty of like dual cartridges you know um tangled and xeno crisis stuff like that that comes to mind don't think i'm not getting value for money you are getting absolutely bang for your buck with this it, it's got to be up there for me probably as like at least one of my top 10 favorite cartridges on evercade 
um, maybe higher. But that's like a video for another day. So listen, folks, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for tuning in. Before I go, comments below. You got this cartridge. If you haven't, are you going to buy it? Tell me your favourite game. Micromages, Bobble, Space Goals. Tell me whatever it is. Um, anything else indie? Can you recommend any like other indie games to me? I've got them all on Evercade, but you know, are there any indie collections around on Xbox or anything like that? All below, guys. I'm like an indie newbie, and I'm really, really loving it. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there, and I'll catch you for another one. Keep it retro.